you bought. The argument is that you bought yourself some time and you didn't use it to prepare hospitals. You didn't use it to ramp up testing. Right you're now, so, nearly you're so, 20 million people You're so people disgraceful. Are okay. So, uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, I, I know that you continue to say you absolutely Okay, hold it one second. Any other questions from any other people? Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Millions, as you witness, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Go ahead. Do in February with the time that your travel ban bought A lot. A lot. And in fact, we'll give you a list. What we did, in fact, part of it was up there. We did a lot. Look, look. You know you're a fake. You know that. Your whole network, the way you cover it, is fake in a positive way. Is the federal government? It's it just, I wish, I wish we had a fair media in this country, and we really don't. You said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if every day Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. You've said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting, they don't actually need. You said New York might need, I, that I might not need 30,000. You said it on Sean Hannity's on, Fox News. You said you know, that why you don't, might. Why don't you some, people act? Let, let me ask you. You said why some don't states, you act? Why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to my get question you. To you. Get is, you, get you. And you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question why to you people, is, how is that going to impact? Excuse me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for The Times, and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty question. Please question. go ahead. Why does it matter? When okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have, t I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you pointed to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, please. But you, did, you called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on Sorry, I just the young lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague okay. finish, but can I ask you Ladies and gentlemen, please? thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank you very much. Nearly 200 dead, 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witness, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Go ahead. I think it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And you're doing sensationalism, and uh, the same with NBC and Comcast. So I don't call it, I don't call it Comcast, I call it Comcast. Let me just ask for whom you work. Let me just say something. That's really bad reporting. Yeah, yeah, Mr. President, after the presentation we just saw about the heat and the humidity, is it dangerous for you to make people think they would be safe by going outside in the heat? considering that so many people are dying in Florida, considering that this virus has had an outbreak in Singapore, places that are yeah, hot here, and are good. Here we go. The new, the new headline is Trump asks people to go outside. That's dangerous. Here we go. Same old group. You're the president, and people tuning into these briefings, they want to get information and guidance and want to know what to do. They're hey, not looking for up, rumors. I'm the president, and you're fake news. I know you well, because I know the guy. I see what he writes. He's a total faker. So why was the United States not prepared with more testing? We were very supplies? prepared. Uh, the only thing we weren't prepared for was the, uh, the media. So we have a lot of very angry media all around this room, and they want one of these seats. But because of social distancing, we are keeping them empty. And they are keeping them empty. Will there ever be a time when all of those really angry, angry people who don't like me much to start off with, but now they really don't like me, will there ever be a time when these seats are full, like full to the brim like it used to be, where people are almost sitting on each other's lap? How many people had died in the United States? So do you acknowledge that you didn't think you were going Keep your voice down, please. Spread? Keep your voice down. Did you not How many, how spread? many, how many cases were in the United States? I did a ban where I'm closing up the entire country. How many people died? And that's a fair point. How many people died in the United States? And yet I closed up the country, and 
I believe there were no deaths, zero deaths at the time I closed up the country. Nobody was there. And you should say thank you very much for good judgment. 